As Carl Sagan once said, we live in a society exquisitely dependent on science and technology, in which hardly anyone knows anything about science and technology. We are here because we are both passionate about various fields of science and want to talk about its importance in our society. Before we start, please raise your hand if you actively care about science and believe in the necessity for scientific funding in our community. <laughs> well, to those of you who didn't raise their hands, what we want to tell you is why science is important and why you should care. But what exactly is science? Is it just a subject that we get taught at school? Is it something that we really need? Science is an ongoing exploration for answers. It studies how things work in the world that surrounds us. According to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, science is the study of the natural world based on facts, learned through experiments and observation. But to us, it is so much more. Science is something that we are passionate about. Science is something that gives us a different perspective on life. Science is something that we know is the solution to solve global problems. Take a moment to realize that science is all around us, from the phone you have in your pocket, to the food you eat, to the camera that is recording us this very second. We Science was needed for the invention of the telephone, the telescope, satellites, and your computer. All of this is science. We can really imagine a world without this kind of technology. Now, can you? Science keeps us united as a community. It shortens distances, and it allows us about to wonder about things to come. Science has changed the lives of everyone around the world. But we have grown to love it because it shows us a way of life that no other field can. As I was growing up, I remember that my favorite show used to be Dinosaur King. And to be quite honest with you, I was very obsessed with it. Every day I would go out to play with my friends. We memorized every name from every dinosaur. And ever since then, I have developed a huge love for the field of paleontology. My love for drawing has always been clear in my life. And I, as and I aspire to become a scientific illustrator and a vertebrate paleontologist. But when I was about six, I realized that I couldn't really grow up to be a Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> so I aspired to become the next best thing. Science changed my life. And ever since, I've been learning about different animals, which time period they lived in, and what they ate. And, I have, and this has helped me grow as an intellect and as a person. Science changed my life, and it can change yours too. The two drawings you just saw are the result of my hard work, driven by my passion for paleontology. And this has opened a lot of academic opportunities for me that I'm working very hard to get at the moment. For me, science, and more specifically astronomy, helped me understand my place in the world. Before I got interested in science, I was quite ignorant towards it. And quite frankly, I didn't like it. But one day, as I was doing homework about the solar system, I realized how interesting this topic was and how much I wanted to learn about it. I started learning about how our Earth was created, then about our sun and the other planets that orbit that sun. And from then on, I saw the potential of outer space. We live on the third rock from the sun, a mere 40,030 kilometers in circumference, if you want to measure it. But outer space is infinite, and it has a number of things that we can't find in our Earth. We have light that has been traveling for millions of years, exoplanets and stars, galaxies and nebula. It gives us a number of possibilities that we can find in the planet that we live in. I learned about physics and astronomy at the same time that I fell in love with science. And then I realized that it was my dream to create new and innovative things that would change space exploration. Science changed our lives. It can change yours too. However, we realize that we live in a world where science is not considered as important as other fields of study. Sometimes this, this is understandable because sometimes science goes against certain beliefs or it is ignored because sadly people think it's simply boring. But regardless, people ignore the fact that it is something that we are all dependent on. If we go back in time, we can see that science used to be a major field of study, but we can see this is not the case right now. In the US, 36% of high school students qualified, 36% of high school students qualified for college level science. And out of that 36%, only 30, 34 of those pursued a scientific career. That number is incredibly low. And considering that this is just in one country, a country that is leading scientific and technological research and advances, we can only imagine what these stats look like in the rest of the world. Since the dawn of mankind, humans have applied knowledge to adapt to our surroundings and make their lifestyle better. When humans discovered fire, not only did they find a new way to stay warm, they also found a way to cook their food for the first time. We, they learned things that we depend on, and during time, it allowed us to develop more complex artifacts. Science is incredibly important, but if it is, then why are we ignoring it? 
People are not interested in science for a number of reasons. For one, we have knowledge at our fingertips. From a simple click, you can find thousands and thousands of articles about the topic of your choosing. But because we can find anything, people think that there's nothing left to be found and think that they can't contribute to science. We're born into a world of science. However, we have lost our spirit to learn about it because sometimes people think there is nothing left to contribute when in reality, science is infinite and everyone can contribute to it, even if it is by developing the most small things. And that's the beauty of science. We're never going to know everything. But as long as we are passionate enough to keep breathing that spirit of creativity and as, as long as we are passionate enough to be curious and brave to find out more, science will live on and it will grow. When we're born, we're curious about everything. So why is it that in this world that we live in, we don't learn as much about science in the early years of our lives as we possibly could? Children all around the world blame their teachers for not liking a subject, but is it really their fault? According to the National Maths and Science Initiative, one third of public middle school teachers either, had no either did not major in the subject in college or had no certification to teach. If we have teachers that don't know about the subject, is there any way that we can truly love a field that wasn't taught to us by an expert? We realize that most teachers that love and care about their job really do teach the subject as best as they can to their students. But those who don't are impairing children's views on science forever. Within our friends and families, when we asked them what they thought about science, most said that they did care, just not enough to know what was going on. And most of these experiences were caused by something that had happened to them in school. For example, does anyone here know what this is? If you do, please raise your hands. This this constant was created by Max Planck, and it's called Planck's constant. It has allowed us humans to develop new, complicated, integrated circuits and chips that have allowed us to develop the modern technology we have today. It is in your computer, in your phone, and in your iPad. By knowing discoveries that have shaped the world, such as Planck's constant, and knowing that scientists have and will continue to use them to make our life well, our daily life better, we are giving science the importance that it deserves. But even now, when our world is full of problems regarding the environment and the humans changing it, science is at an all-time low. Scientists are being influenced to change their research targets. Studies without a commercial purpose are not being funded. And people don't care about science anymore. There is something clearly wrong in the way our society is functioning right now. Climate change studies are not being funded enough because certain people say global warming isn't a thing or it's not important right now. Even if there is scientific proof that it is a big and dangerous issue that can affect us in the future and that it needs to be addressed quickly and efficiently. Because of this, there is not enough data being collected. And in future years, when global warming strikes even harder, not only will we not have any way to battle against it, we won't have enough recent data to compare it to. We keep ignoring climate change, even if the change is obvious, and we need to take action. If we don't, some scientists say that it could be game over for Earth, our planet. We know that it might be hard to recognize this, but it's better to take action than to ignore the problem. Science is everything. The phone in your pocket gets information from satellites created by NASA. Science is present even when you join a dating app. This is because the STEM majors field designed it. Without science, how will we be able to battle against dangerous diseases like Ebola, cancer, or even AIDS? That's right, we wouldn't be able to. The car that you use was created by science. The building in which you park your car in was created by science. And the fuel that powers your car was created by science. Medical science is a big and complicated field of study which strives every day to turn common chemistry, biology, and even physics into a treatment made and used to minimize the harm done by a physical illness or by an accident. Not only is medicine science, your house is science, your city is science, our world is science. One of our teachers once told us that we were made from stardust countless times. But truly, without understanding how we went from stardust to human beings, we are turning our backs on the history of the universe. Our well-being as a society is dependent on science and on medical science. And it's exactly the reason why the scientific community needs plenty of funding and needs to be shown the importance that it deserves. Science is progress, and that progress allows us to live a better, healthier, and more enjoyable life as a community. 
As humans, we are an incredibly sociable species. We mostly live in large communities with large needs, such as transporting water or transporting ourselves from place to place. From simple obstacles we face in life, we are able to break them down into little steps and to slowly create a solution. This is where science kicks in and allows that idea to become a reality. Everything we have, everything we are, and everything we'll ever be has and will be started with an idea, pushed by science directly or indirectly to make it happen. We need science because without it, we are lost, but yet we keep ignoring it. However, we can make this a part of our past and not our future. It's just as Carl Sagan once said, we live in a society exquisitely dependent on science and technology, in which hardly anyone knows anything about science and technology. But we have the power to change that. Thank you.